Hey folks, we've got a little announcement. Uh, coming up at Fabtech, we're gonna do a presentation where uh, the old fat guy is gonna run a pipe weld. We've got Jody Collier is gonna do a presentation on filler wires. We've got Ian Johnson that's gonna do a presentation. And then the three of us, I believe, are gonna get together and do a live podcast with Jimmy McKnight. So make sure you check us out at Fabtech. It's gonna be eventful, educational. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Hope to see you there. Guess what? We've got a new machine. We need to play around with it. ESOB 205ACDC. Check this out. Stick, MIG, DC TIG, DC gas metal arc welding flux core. But now we get to play around. This thing will do some AC TIG. We'll go through and run some arc features and just kind of play around with it. The fact that it runs AC TIG is really cool. It does all these other processes, but AC TIG leaves us the capabilities of immediately running on aluminum. So I want to kind of test out, run normal stuff, play with the Hertz, uh, play with the cleaning action and just kind of run some beads, see what it does. I think it'll run pretty smooth, but let's test it out. I'm gonna start out with on 130 amps. I just want to run everything on 130. I'm, I've got my uh, eighth inch aluminum coupons over here, coupons, and I've got them wiped down with acetone. They're cleaned off. 130 amps. Right now, I'm gonna set my imbalance at 70 percent on the EN side, 30 percent cleaning action. I'm gonna go up here to parameters, and I am going to I'm gonna set 90 hertz. 90 cycles a second for right now. We'll play with that later. It's kind of cool. The fact that we have it is cool. Everything that I run today, I'm gonna use a, uh, if we use a filler wire, we're gonna use a, a 330 second, 53, fit, yep, that's 5356. Got some Alcatech rod here. So we'll run some beads and add some filler wire to them. This is 90 hertz, 130 amps, 30% cleaning action. Crawled out on the edge. I was running pretty aggressive with the heat. Let's run another one down through there. That was pretty nice. Let's, uh, let's go down in Hertz and see what happens. Uh, we were at 130 amps, 30% uh, cleaning action. I'm gonna go over here and change the Hertz. So from 90, I wanna go down to like, let's see how far it goes down. Woo, go all the way down 25, something. Yes, it does, it goes down to, it goes down to 25. Well, let's go all the way down to 25 and run some beads. That was kind of a cool effect. I'm not sure what the crystalline stuff is over the bead other than 55, 50, or 53, 56, but the mere fact that you can slow that thing down to 25 is cool. You can make some nice soft butter and welds. Man Cub, did you do this weld earlier? Was this at 25 hertz? It was? Well, that's cool, so that's, I didn't know you had it turned down that far. 
Here's a weld that was done at 25 hertz, no filler wire, outside corner joint just kind of buttered in. That's nice. I didn't realize you ran this a little bit ago and ran it down 25 hertz. Way to go, man. So I need to make some value changes here. We'll go up in hertz. I was at 90 earlier when I made my initial run. I'll just go up to 200. And then uh, after 200, we'll see how high it goes because I have not, uh, not played with this machine yet. Wow, this thing's getting it. A little different color. Kind of started out hot and it really kicked in. I'm a little wider here. I started backing off of it and adding some wire and I changed the bead shape drastically. I want to run another one of those. Kind of lost my timing and didn't hit the front of the pool. I'm working on it, I'll try more. Change the hertz. We've got it 200. Let's just find, see where the top end of this machine, how high it goes. Woo, 400. So we ran some at 90. We went all the way down to 25, the very low end of the machine. We came back up to 200. Now we're gonna run at 400. We're gonna run the max. That was a trip. I'm actually kind of surprised. You know, I didn't wire brush these down hard. I just wiped them down. But I'm seeing this frost out away from the bead. But man, that was like pure power. This whole thing ran in there super smooth. I want to do a little bit of a lap weld here and experiment at 400 hertz. Wow, that is like singing in there. That's crazy. Arc is just like pure output. I want to experiment with one other type of weld here. It may not be the right application, but I want to wash across this edge weld just to simulate something and just experiment and see what it does. The arc control on this thing is crazy. So good, so pure right now. I want to try that same bead. I want to change up a couple of things. Um, I want to change my cleaning action down to, or actually I want to raise the cleaning action to about 40% and I want to change the hertz way back down to about 40 just to see what happens. I'll slow the hertz way down 
add some more cleaning action and do that same bead just to watch it and listen to it. Wow, this is really quiet. Soft and quiet. That's nice. Okay, we ran a bunch of different beads. Um, Esau Rebel 205, AC TIG. We went through different hertz, different cleaning action, imbalance. We went all the way down to 25. We went all the way to 400. And uh, pretty impressive output. Arc initiated on time and started up. Uh, it operated. You could pedal back and go clear out of the low end without any fluttering or anything. Ran a couple of edge welds, one at 400 hertz, one at 30, 40 hertz. 40 hertz was the last one. Pretty cool machine. I thought this thing was kind of kind of nice. <clears throat> Ran some beads with filler wire, 5356. I learned a little bit, especially on this frost line at 400 hertz, even though the output was like right on and screaming. It seemed like the frost was way outside, so I thought it was kind of cool. Make sure you check out this machine at Fabtech coming up. Uh, wow, I didn't expect this. You know, here we got a machine, DC TIG, stick, gas metal arc welding, flux core. Now we've got AC TIG all piled into one machine, and it's a good output. So, hey, thanks for watching Weld.com. Make sure you subscribe and check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you. Kind of made my Schleifwinkel go away. <laughs>